Okay, okay. Omega boost. All this jokes shit. aside, though, this is one that we've. I, people have been asking me about this one for a while, and and because yeah. it's like, yo, dude, do you know about Omega Boost? And it's like I've been told about Omega Boost because you see that triangle and circle button right there. You see what that says? The boost. Boost. Whenever boost I that shit. read the name of this game, I think of the Eiffel 65 song. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, where you heard the PlayStation song? Uh, oh which, no, you haven't heard which it, have one? you? No. The, the P L A Y S E A T I O N. It's like a fucking the. I'm blue. Dabba 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 oh dabba God, guys. no, I did, did a song not. called My Console that is about the PlayStation. Oh, and the no. beginning of the verse is Omega Boost. Oh <laughs> Laddie no! Roar. Oh no! No! It's so no! Good. No! No! Don't do it! Don't do it! Not like this. No, it's true though. Polyphony Digital. Okay. Yeah. I've heard pilot version. Many, many a thing about Omega Boost and how cool it is. Um and I have a saying, and it says no matter what you're doing at any time of day, you could also be boosting that shit. Doing the taxes, boost that yeah. shit. Yeah, boost it. Making coffee, boost. <laughs> Add a boost a button boost to after everything. It too. Keep an eye on the radar in the bottom left, facing away using the scan button and destroy all enemies. Can't see the enemy, press it twice. I've heard from a lot of people this is kind of like a proto Zone of the Enders yes, type of deal. Yes, yes, yes. It's a robot. It's a fucking... Well, it looks amazing. It for, looks super good for PlayStation. For a PlayStation 1 game, this looks incredible. And this is first party, right? So... Yeah, 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 yeah. That will explain why. Okay, why are you scanning? Scan it? Scanning. Oh my god, these controls are so complex. This is incredible. Like this this Caution. This looks really good for PlayStation 2. This looks amazing. Get it. Get it. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're gonna figure it out. It's a little bit confusing, I'm not gonna lie. I believe you have a a boost button. On your controller. That's a boost. That's a boost. Hold that shit. Okay, so you have to keep finding new targets to lock onto. Uh, it's weird that it does it from the first person. Yes, I mean, it like is. in front of you. It is, and I kind of want it to not do that. So, you know what, dude? Okay, here, here, here. I think we have to address the shoulder button issue, right? Yeah. Like now that's starting to make it so that I'm looking at the front view as a rare view. So it thinks that the button is being pressed the whole time. So let's fix that. Because yeah. that's, that's, yeah. that was hilarious for Jet Moto. But I <laughs> yeah, need to take this. Omega Boost very seriously. Okay, I think we fixed it. Excellent. Right, we are now behind where we need to be. We've got our rear view to check out who's tailing us. Is that your option? My option? Because, uh, like... Oh no, you have to kill that thing. No, that okay. is an enemy, yeah. So we've got a scan button to find the nearest enemy. Right? Oh, they die so fast. Yeah, well this is training mode, right? So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one missile. This is my gun. This is my rifle. Uh, this is my double boost. Oh, hold on a second. Double boost. Uh, and then we've got our mode shifter, so... That's this is the real question, right? Is like, okay, what does shifting modes do? Because this is now we're in X Gundam mode. Yeah, I was about to say, right? You're like double X Gundam right now. Look at X Gundam right here. Gundam X, let's go. There's a show that I wish anyone else cared about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the design is so cool. Shout it's out so to Crossbone. Yeah, Crossbone Gundam is the one of the sickest designs that gets no love and has yeah. never gotten animated, and no one will tell us why. <sighs> but you know what? More build fighters, though. Yeah, I, I like the first fighters. season. I like the first season a lot. I never watched the others, but I've been warned. As a as a hard UC boy, it's hard for me to get behind those sometimes. Fair enough. Not uh, that they're bad. It's just like I want, I want misery in my Gundam. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You you need screaming Amuro. I hear you. <laughs> Amuro. Uh, Camille's a man's name. 
Is it? Is it? <laughs> you sure about that? Yo, uh, isn't that new movie coming out? Like Gundam NT or something like that? Yeah, I, I heard know. there was a new announcement, but I, I didn't fully check it out. Uh, okay, so this mode. Hmm. It this kinda, is not all range mode. It is not all range mode, but it's kind of like a hover mode. I like it. Yeah. Kind of like hanging around the asteroid. Like, well, it, it, it stops me from from moving forward. And it, yeah. It, it switches to, um, uh, well, I don't even know what to call it, but like, you know, your, your Z axis no longer applies. You understand? Yeah, it like locks on to like one object. Yeah, and now it's, you're only moving along your X and Y because there's no analog stick for free 3D movement, right? So mm -hmm. it's using mm -hmm. just the D-pad. Are you ready? Uh, I oh, guess yeah. I am. Zone play. You're using just the D-pad and then holding it to interact with which plane. I'm super... Oh, it's a planet! Boost into the planet, dude. All right. Scan first. Oh. It forces... Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're in open space, and then it forces you to scan enemies. I love it. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, I can see how this is protozone of the Enders, for sure. I can see what, what, you, what yeah. you mean. Yep, a little bit of that, a little bit of, like, Zen arc. Omega boost. <laughs> Don't ruin it! <laughs> Bloody roar. <laughs> X-Files. Yeah. Uh, this reminds me of, uh, like, the way that missile looks and is moving. That one zone in Star Fox 64 where you have to protect the, the Great Fox from being shot down. Yeah, the defense missions. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Okay, so we... In X mode, if we then boost, we have, like, a, a different kind of boost. Oh, this is nice and complex in its controls, but it feels okay. It really yeah. does. It feels pretty good. Have you played that one PS2 game uh, that Working Designs published, uh, Gun Griffin Blaze? Gun Griffin Blaze, I have not played, but I love the name. Yeah, I always love the name. It's another mech game that also has like really convoluted control scheme, but yeah. like once you get the hang of it, it's like really fun. Well, that's the thing is, if you're gonna go convoluted, make sure that it pays off so that when you learn it, you can do amazing things, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. There has to be a payoff for going through the trouble of like mastering the controls. And yep. like, there has and it has to become evident why you designed it to be this way, you know. Not like a uh, steel battalion right, connect right, situation. Right, yeah. Obfuscation, but that's obfuscation for the sake of like your your own simulation and like your mech boner, or I should say mm -hmm, my mech mm -hmm. boner. So now we're that's basically one of those games I've always wanted a copy of. Oh like, yeah, we played bad. it on Mecha Week, and I had a good time. Uh, I had a good time. Uh, so this uh, is very. I want it. This is very Star Fox in terms of the boss I dig right it. now. I dig it. Oh, so you have to find weak points on him. Yeah, I assume the reds, right? The reds. The reds are always the bad guy here. <laughs> oh, okay, now you're putting out... Okay. Yeah, little ads are showing in. Oh, yeah. You see the life Yo. bar, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also see all these pieces breaking off of the thing in a manner that's not, like, dumb-looking. So Austin, that's pretty good. Austin, this is a PlayStation 1 game. I know! It looks real good! Isn't this insane? This seems like this would have been, like, a PC game back in the day. Fucking first party, man. Wow. Sony doesn't give enough credit for their first party IPs, man. Wow. Look right, how fly to that planet. fucking good this looks. I swear to God, if you fly into that planet, I'm done. Oh, that wasn't even the boss. That wasn't even the boss. <laughs> the boss A rogue is, the is approaching. Look at this yeah. fucker. Yeah. Yo, space mech the, battle. These mechs are, that's like, this looks like a double Zeta mech suit design. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Like the Faz. Like a Gelgoog or something. Like kind of oh, in the same oh, the one of the, Okay, I was thinking of the full armor double Zeta. Oh, no, no. Or, or the Cubile. It's got Cubile shoulders. It's got Cubile shoulders, definitely. Yeah. Quibbly. But like a mix of like Double Zeta and Macross at the same time. 
Okay, can she, the, the okay the stick is inverted. The the the, the D pad is inverted. So I'm, I'm getting used as I as as used as, as used to these inverted controls as I can. Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. I'm getting wrecked. Yep. I gotta switch into into Omega mode. This music sounds like the soundtrack that would play at a club Tetsuya Nomura frequency. Yeah. And I love it. Or like Sonic Adventure. Oh my god. Oh my god. This dude is I'm not ready for him. How many how many weapons you got? Just the one? Just those two and and then the occasional big shot laser. Okay, he's, okay. he's taking. He's taking it. I'm yeah, using yeah. my X mode. Yeah, I'm yeah. using cross mode. Boost. <laughs> Double Gundam, let's go. Oh, this is fucking awesome. What a dog right. fight. What a dog fight. And you gotta keep and you gotta you gotta keep that scan going. Lay into him. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing it, you're doing it. Oh fuck. So I got I, so when he gets up like that, so when you got I gotta do that, right? Yep, yep, yep. Just dodge out of the way. I bet this game has like uh, a demo uh, bumper bumper pads on. I bet this game gets hard as shit. At oh, certain I can feel it. I can feel the difficulty. Yeah. God. Ah. Oh my you, god. I, so when like the mechs kind of like slightly come close to each other, there's a lot of hit sparks. Yeah, there is. And it's awesome. Oh, I'm spinning out of control, dude. He knocked me fucking for a. This would make my dad sick. <laughs> like. I lost him. There he is. Yeah, okay, that, you got it. That kamikaze attack, man. I, you know, I have a copy of this thing around. I should. Do you? Well, I got really lucky and found like just the disc by itself at like a flea market for a dollar. This game goes for like sixty bucks now or something. Okay. Okay. I'll have to oh, play it. Fuck. This is fantastic, man. Oh shit. Uh, oh shit. This is where the pilots jump out and start uh, fucking punching each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? The end of that one. Oh shit. The end of Mobile Suit Gundam. Yeah, it's yeah. Fucking punching each other. Yes! Oh, he's pissed. I was gonna say spoilers for 007 for 1979. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this about to do a bloodstain thing? Okay, no, it didn't. Okay, I chased I thought, him off. So that I was, he was gonna do a final attack. That was Bogey. I chased yeah. him off, and he hated it. Goodbye, Bogey. Goodbye, dude. Well, oh man, big you goodbye. Just, you gave me Virgil one in a robot, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Omega Boost, would you purchase this video game per chance? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Holy oh, shit. Man. What a hard Look sell. Look at that screenshot on the game itself. He's on the planet fighting some kind of thing. So. Oh, shit. So you're not always right. going to be in space. Yeah, no. So there you go. I want. I, like, I just want to fucking... Awesome. fucking... Okay, you know what, though? We got to give it another shake. Now that... <laughs> now that we fixed, now that we can do it honest and earnest, we fixed our own problems. <laughs> like I will, like I, I will give it an earnest shake because uh, no. the the old college try was not in full. Um, it was a little untoward. We were a little untoward yeah. with this game. So let's try it now. We were in a bad mood when we booted it up last time. You know, just. You kicked the puppy, and then you got mad that it wouldn't fetch, you know? And then you started playing Jet Moto 3. <laughs> <laughs> you know what puppies really hate? <laughs> Jet Moto 3. Don't play that in front of your dog. Just, just start barking. Yeah, <laughs> it just starts growling at the screen. <laughs> All right. Just yes. Again. Freedom. No. Well, <laughs> almost. It's very Free fast. Freedom. Yeah. I mean, that's Jet Moto. Are yeah. you the Mountain Dew bike? I just real. You still the. Okay. Even the demo has the Mountain Dew bike. Gamer fuel. 
Hell yeah. Th some things don't change. Mountain Dew's been the official sponsor of video games for like two decades now. What about Doritos? Doritos is a newer addition, you know? Oh, okay. I'm saying Mountain Dew, been there since the beginning. They've been there for us the whole time. Okay. We just didn't know it. So maybe we can learn to use our oppressor by using <laughs> oh my this. God, the oppressor. Maybe we can learn to use it, you know? There, see? Use it. Look at that. Yeah? By holding yeah. the button, it worked. It worked. Sometimes oppression's okay, you know? Like. It's never okay, though. Well, uh, in the world of <laughs> Jet Moto. <laughs> We can accept it temporarily. It's required. Uh. Okay, and then we've got that boost button. That's a little bit out of. It's a little bit unwieldy. I'm not gonna lie. That boost button, especially since I'm on a turn right now. I feel like this game should be called Omega Boost. Right. I used it though. What the fuck? Oh god. What I'm... the fuck? Okay, but no. here's the. Okay, you know what the problem with the boost button is? It's R3, but accelerate is X. <laughs> yeah. So, so how do you press X and, X and R3 at the same time, Austin? You gotta claw it, dude. You take your fucking pointer finger, you put it on the X. Okay, Tekken fingers, here we go. I'm claw not playing it. it Tekken fingers, I'm on the claw. I'm clawing it. I'm doing both. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta claw on both hands. I... I'm getting wrist problems right now. I am getting Sakurai <laughs> wrist as we speak. Oh, I fuck. feel like having small hands would make you think Jet Moto 3 is a good game. Like, Liam says that it was... It was... Oh, God, not on the checkpoint. <laughs> Liam says that it was uh, uh, Kid Icarus that ruined his wrists, but maybe it was truly Jet Moto. <laughs> Through the rocks. The damage can't be undone from the childhood. <laughs> comes when you least expect it. Do you see, like, a turbo meter? No, eh? No. Just... Well... Jet at Moto least 3. Mountain Dew got its day. <laughs> at least it got its time. Paycheck, son. Limited I edition. I still wouldn't buy Jet Moto 3, though. I don't think I've changed my mind, no. Uh, but I do feel the need to do the do right now. I could yeah. go for a tall, special edition case of Mountain Dew. Code Red. Limited edition Doritos in the in the in the <laughs> collector's case. Did you see it? <laughs> have you seen the collector's case? I have. <laughs> oh. oh. And it looks like we're on to Disney slash Pixar's Toy Story 2. I can't hey, believe this is a good game. that Toy Star Toy Star. I can't believe Disney gave Pixar top billing on that. Yeah. You'd think... I'm sure that maybe it's part of their their contract, right? Because the fact that, like, everything Pixar has done is also known as a Pixar thing and not as a Disney thing is, is surprising, because Disney would usually be aggressive about it, being like, no, these are Disney movies, and then they have to go make I, their own separate animation studio. I think it's because Pixar sells. Yeah. Like, if you put the words Pixar on something, it's yeah. gonna do the, do the big numbers. Toy Story Rating Pending. We don't know what this is going to be, folks. You might see <laughs> some YouTube only titties. Toy Story. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Someone like looks in the demo for Toy Story 2, looks like like goes beyond the boundaries and like finds like just hardcore pornography like in Andy's room. <laughs> like secret secret unlockable level of the girl game. <laughs> or the guy game rather. No, it's a no, let's let's no the girl game. That's the opposite. Let's go. <laughs> so underage dicks showing up <laughs> no, live. No, not underage dicks. Don't <laughs> say that. Ah, <laughs> uh, Traveler's Tales. Yeah, classic. Yeah, all right. I feel like I played a lot of Traveler's Tales games on like the Genesis and Super Nintendo. Hmm. That, that's a lo that's a cool logo uh, that never, like, or rather, that's a cool logo that promised too much for the generation, you know? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Like, that's the thing about cutscenes, right? So now, 
we get games that more or less look good and their cutscenes are pretty good too, but they're around the same. But like, or you could just use in-game to do a lot. But back then, the difference between cutscene FMVs and gameplay was nuts. And we would always right away, fuck, damn it. Was <laughs> Okay. I pressed the X button and that was my fault, apparently. And um, it happens. But yeah, no, the fact that, uh, the fact that it fucking, uh, you automatically saw the FMVs in, F- in FF7 at the same time as the in-game stuff, and you knew this gap between the two, and you felt it the entire generation. Yeah. And the question was, when are we going to get games that look like the Tekken intro? And the answer was Tekken Tag 1. Yep. And the thing is, is that, like, that game looked significantly better than the Tekken intro. Mm. Tekken 1 intro. Yes, 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 yes. Tekken 1 cinematics are amazing. Andy's house. All right. So are you ready oh, to cry shit. and fucking vacate your bowels when the new movie comes out? You know, I never actually saw 3. Oh. So I'm like a movie behind. So you're you're missing a soul then? Yeah. Okay, cool. Got it. I, I, I'm working on it. You can find one in your local copy of Toy Story 3. <laughs> Just saying, if you happen to, if, you, if you're feeling vacant. I think can... there's literally a copy of that movie in this house. And I just... <laughs> Make sure you don't have anything else to do that day, though. That's true. Is it, like, going to fuck me up? It's, it's, uh, it's not going to fuck you up, but it's definitely like... Whoo. Mm. <laughs> yeah it's so, good uh, it's good here's a couple games that traveler's tales also made mm-hmm. sonic r oh oh a bug's I'm... life okay sonic 3d blast okay and i guess this demo is not gonna work huh? i mean it hey look we uh that skating game took its sweet time coming to the prom that's true. So I'm That's not giving true. up just yet. I'm willing to start a black screen for a minute and listen to Traveler's Tales games. I don't know about you. Okay, we'll keep going then. Uh, all of the Lego games. All of them. Pretty much. That's true. I tested uh, Harry Potter and I tested, uh, I want to say it was Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. Yeah, my name's in the credits on that, I believe. Oh, shit. Okay, like the original? This, uh the the 360 and I want to say game DS maybe has so one handheld version. Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck. All I right. guess we're not playing Toy Story 2, huh? I guess we're not playing Toy Story. I kind of expect this to happen with the demo disc sometimes. 